Hi, this is Artifacts Mars. This is just a quick introduction. I was almost hit by a deranged driver on January 30th, 2017, and about 110 to 115 p.m. Timestamp on the video is useless, so you can ignore it. Um, fortunately, the video is also upside down. They called it a dash cam, so I put it on dash. <laughs> Guess what? It's meant to be mounted on the windshield, not on dash. So, we're going to go, we'll go through this quick introduction, and uh, then we'll get to the video. Car was about two feet behind me, and then zoomed around and then almost hit my car. If I had not slammed on the brakes, he would have hit my car. No way his hands were bought, so he would have killed a lot of people. So this driver needs to be identified and removed from the road. Totally unsafe. It has nothing to do with distracted driving, which you're going to see next. A form on Monroe County Sheriff's Department site. Hang on. Hello, I'm on Facts of Mars, and what you're seeing is a form on the Monroe County Sheriff's Department website for distracted driving. Now, I'm going to explain what this is about. Well, uh, because of the difficulties of producing this video, I'm going to present this first. I've got to do things in a different way because of the limitations of my equipment. It's that blasted Windows 10 stuff. I'm not going to sit here and explain it, but I'm just going to tell you I have to do things a different way. So... Anyway, here we are. This is about distracted driving, you know, playing with your cell phone and stuff. It has nothing to do with reckless driving, which is the theme of today's video. Uh, reckless driving, but a driver almost uh, hit me on the highway, and I can't get any help from law enforcement. To protect and serve my ass. They're out there to collect revenue. That's what they're out there for. They don't give a shit. If you get killed by one of these bastards. Well, right here you go. Alright. You've seen the form, now we get to the meat of the discussion. Okay, I need to uh, get... I need to mount the thing. They call it dash cam, so I put it on my dash. And everything's upside down. But you will see the... The speeder who almost hit my car. I need public's help. This person has got to be taken off the road because they could have killed a lot of people, including myself. If that car would have hit mine, you'd have had dozens of people dead. There's no excuse. And this was not a distracted driver. Let me be clear that Whoever it was knew exactly what they were doing, male or female, I couldn't tell. If I hadn't slammed on the brakes, they would have hit me. They don't care. There's a mental illness out there. Now, I'm heading north on 390. Again, I apologize for it being upside down. I am going to get my uh, dash cam mounted on the windshield. See, they call it dash cam, so they mount it on dash. And then it's upside down. It makes no sense. Why didn't they call it the windshield cam instead? It's got to be a joke of some kind. And you can ignore the timestamp, by the way. The timestamp is not applicable. Now, I'm approaching the interchange part of the highway that goes down around the city. It goes down a ramp, and then you go down uh, the, around the city, and it's on the west side. And you'll see the speeding car almost hit me shortly. That's not him. 
or her. And after we're done with this, I'm going to show the still that includes the license plate number, and maybe somebody can get some help on this. I have not received a reply from the cops. My patience is exhausted. There it is! You see, that vehicle almost hit my car. If I had not engaged in emergency evasive maneuvers, that vehicle would have hit my car. And they ignore horns, they don't care. It's some kind of a mental illness where they think they have to get ahead. And it's becoming more and more common and more and more dangerous out there on the highway. I can't stand it anymore. I do not drive like that. Okay. Now this is a still, and I corrected for this being upside down, so... This is the vehicle that cut me off and almost smashed into me. Remember, it's been flipped over, so now it's on the right-hand side. It zoomed over the right-hand lane and zipped around me and came straight at my car. and would have hit me if... I had not taken evasive maneuvers. I tried getting help from the cops, and they don't care. They don't care. They're concerned with revenue collection. That's what these sheriff's departments mainly do. It's re revenue collection. They are revenue. They're tax collectors. Let's just call out for what it is. So this is a GMC Envoy license plate. CYB9033. If anybody knows who owns this vehicle, that person has got to be removed from the road. They almost killed a lot of people, not just me. They would have killed a lot of people. It was very densely packed on the road. There were cars everywhere. They would have killed dozens of people if they had succeeded in hitting my car. And this vehicle, by the way, had been just a couple of feet behind my car. They don't care. There's a mental illness out there. I don't know what it is. I'm not a psycho babbler. But I'm appealing to the public's help in getting this driver identified and off the road. The cops have so far have not responded. I did send the information to a cop because I went... Uh... I went through the process, I uh, went to laundromat that was in Monroe County and asked him, you know, send out a cop over to the laundromat, and, were, and I had all the information on disk. And I said, you know, I'll give you the information, something's going to be done about this driver. And they said, oh yeah, we'll send somebody out. Nobody ever showed up. So I finally had to call him up again and said, you know, sorry, I can't wait around any longer. I have to get to work. And, oh, yeah, we're busy. Yeah, we were thinking about getting somebody out there. And that was, you know, 45 minutes to an hour later. This is your tax dollars at work. So, then I they said, well, we'll have somebody call you up. Which the, the cop did call me up. I only know him as Cassidy B. And Cassidy B. Said okay. Well send me the information. And we'll do something. He said there's also a form. Which I showed at the beginning. Here. Uh, he said it was for reporting reckless drivers. It's not. It's for reporting texts. Textures, basically. That's all it's for. It has nothing to do with reckless drivers. They said, well, we send out a form. They're home if they've been reported. And let them know our displeasure. Which I seriously doubt they do. So, here it is. This uh, driver is completely insane. Almost caused an accident. It would have been his fault, 100%. He had been following about two feet behind my bumper. 
and then he zoomed around me and cut so close to my car that if I had not swerved, he would have hit me. And they don't care. There's a mental illness out there, is, and it's getting worse by the day. There's a mental illness where they think they have to get ahead. Sorry, I drive in one lane, with my only objective getting, being getting from point A to point B, and I rarely pass anybody. There are rare occasions when I actually have to, but uh, normally, no. And what you're seeing, I was in the exit only lane for 390. Well, that's about it. This was January 30th, about 1.10 to 1.15 p.m. when this incident occurred. So far, I have not heard back, back from the cops. I don't think they care. They, Modern cops, the sheriff's departments, are revenue collectors. That's what they are. They just... 90% of what they do is revenue collection. They're tax collectors. Duh! At any rate, there you go. Uh, I'm hoping somebody from the public can help me on this, get this driver reported and off the road before they kill somebody. Because they will kill somebody acting like this. No less answer buts about it. They would have hit my car. Had I, I not taken the evasive maneuvers. And they don't care. They'll hit your car. They are mentally ill. There's a mental illness out there. I drive in one lane and mind my own business. And that's the type of person the cops hassle. Hassle somebody who's minding their own business and staying in one lane. Because they figure you're trying to hide something. So they'll stop you and look you up. See what you are. Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. Could use a little help on this one. If anybody knows this driver, get them off the road. Before they are killed and they kill other people by doing this type of thing. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.